of Monday morning. It is the, the 24th of May. And we keep getting rain after rain after rain after rain. So I'm kind of behind on getting my garden in because of the flooding and doing videos on seed saving. So here is your blooms when they are fully opened. This is your blooms when they are closed right here. And this is what you want to bag. They call it bagging the bloom. This will keep the seeds from cross pollinating. My thing broke. It's a little selfie stick and there's no room in here to do the tri tripod. So bear with me. This is kind of tricky because you need it to grab a hold of something. We have a lot of wind here in Oklahoma. You don't want to do it too terribly tight. Just going to ask you where the wind's not going to catch it. Get loose to the ground. So when they open up, none of the pollinators can like pollinate it to bring in that cross contamination. This is the proper and pure way to do tomato plants. If not, you will have to grow at a distance of 300 to 400 feet from any other tomato plant. And then that's still not a real big guarantee that you won't get some cross contamination. So to ensure that, this is the best way to do it, is to bag your, bag your blooms. So there you go. There's that one little video about bagging your blooms. This one I can go ahead and do. This is a good way to save money also on your homestead. Seeds or prices are going up, food insecurity is growing, and you want to be able to sustain on your, yourself on your homestead. And this is some great ways to get your pure varieties and save money on the homestead all in one one swoop. Here we go. I'm trying to do this to where you can see me. There you go. I'm gonna go over here. We are just flooding here in Oklahoma. I'm so sick of the rain. We got more rain this morning. So right here is a variety that I really want to save seeds for. Um, this is German Lunchbox, and it is a nice, beautiful heirloom grape tomato. It's one of my favorites, and there's the perfect one. I can go ahead and get this one and bag the bloom on this. This way, I can have more seeds for this next season, 2022. So, hashtag garden gurus, hashtag Oklahoma Garden Club. This is how you do it. This is how you save seeds on tomatoes. Same concept on peppers. If you're going to grow peppers to avoid cross-pollination, you have to go keep them at 500 feet distance from each other. So, this way, you can utilize your garden space and save seeds at the same time and get pure varieties. So here's where it's already opened up. It's too late. I don't ever do it when it's like that. I always bag the blooms when they're like that. I hope this helps. I hope you enjoy your Monday. Happy spring and happy growing. Wendy at Hardneck Farms, Historic Guthrie, Oklahoma.